Welcome back to Inside Politics. Our guest today is Natural Mayor David Briley. Uh, Mayor, just to follow up very briefly on the on the, the scooter situation, it's like two million riders and two million miles already, so they're obviously very popular, particularly among a younger crowd. If we decide not to have these here at all in the future, that seems to be a possibility. Are we going to hurt our tourism, the people coming here, and particularly attracting younger millennials, who a lot of whom are moving to Nashville? Well, uh, I, I think there is a consequence to, to, um, to taking them off the streets if we do it uh, entirely and permanently. The, but I think the, the, the downside of having them outweighs that if that's what ends up being the case. Uh, I, I was just watching uh, something on a, one of the, a competitor channel on the national level, and it was a woman who had visited here and said she said she was not coming back because of the scooters. And so I, I think there is a real downside to having them uh, down on Lower Broad, where a a lot of the businesses down there are fed up with them. It, it, it's not to, it's not entirely an upside for tourism. There's a big downside for tourists as well. Let's talk about affordable housing. It was a big issue in the mayor's race four years ago, as it seems to be as big an issue today. Uh, you're trying to come up with a plan through MDHA to spend, I think, close to three quarters of a billion dollars on this issue. You also challenged the um, business community to put up another quarter of a million dollars to help on this. I haven't heard about any businesses stepping forward to help you. Is this plan not going anywhere, at least as far as the challenge is concerned? No, we're making progress on it. It's just a complicated part of the of the equation. We are spending half a billion dollars of, of uh, city money to address a very uh, critical issue to the city. And so um, when you look at uh, what we're going to do at MDHA, uh, going all to all six of their developments and making them mixed income, it's going to improve the quality of life for everybody, not just the folks who are living there, but in the surrounding community. It's an important thing we got to do, and we got to get started. Since you've been in office, you've been trying to get some affordable housing, a major project going downtown. First, you were looking at that in the land swap down across mm -hmm. from the library, and now you looked at the Morris Memorial Building. That The committee you had looked at that came back and said, no, not affordable housing. Is it just because Nashville's too expensive downtown to be able to make something like this work? Well, we have let me, there are three projects that uh, have are, are well underway. First, over on Edge Hill, there's 40 units of veterans housing for homeless veterans. That's well underway, under construction. Uh, we uh, have just accepted the final the final bids for the 100 units of uh, permanent supportive housing for the homeless. That's just going to be a few blocks away from here. Um, and, and then the, the third thing is you'll see some announcements about some other uh, developments taking place here in the core of the city, um, just in, in in the next day or so that start to spend some of the resources that the council has already approved. Want to tease us about exactly what that's going to be? Uh, well, uh, I just teased you. I think that <laughs> yeah, was the tease. Yeah, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, good they're good projects as part of uh, what MDHA is doing. Let me ask you about a national issue. The Trump administration through the uh, ICE Right. agency indicated they were going to start yeah. this week, although it's been deferred two weeks for some additional yeah. legislation to pass through Congress to do a, a crackdown and perhaps, perhaps supporting perhaps that. I think they've used the word millions, if not hundreds of thousands of, yeah. of migrants and other people that they say have gone through the system and need to be deported. Nashville's not on the list of cities that's going to be happening, but if we're added future, if we're added in the future and you are still mayor, what will be your order to the police chief and what will you do in terms of talking to Sheriff Hall about what role the city ought to play in terms of what whether it will help ICE officials in making those deportations? Well, uh, we actually did have a little bit of an increase in detentions last weekend uh, and so uh, we're worried that uh, ICE will focus on the city of Nashville and let me just say to everybody who lives here that would be bad for our city uh, if that were to be the case and so I'll do everything in my power to keep uh, the police and the, sh and the sheriff from participating in any way with any of those deportations. What kind of increase have you seen? Do you get a report on that every week? How many deportations? I don't get a report, but I did get some, some information that I think it was up to nine last weekend. And you will ask Sheriff Hall and, and, the, and Chief I, I will Martin. ask. I will. I will. I will ask the sheriff to do uh, to do that. But it is within his authority, really, to make that decision. You'll be a little bit more direct with the police chief. I will be, and the chief is already committed in that regard. Let me ask one other question as we close out. There, Nashville continues to be mentioned as a possible expansion city for Major League Baseball. It seems to be a group out of town leading a lot of it. I don't see. I have not seen identified local supporters on it. Is this community ready for yet another major league sport, and where in the world will they play? Because the current stadium they're in was just built, and it was specifically built not to be expanded for major league baseball. Right. Well, uh, I, I think we've got uh, uh, lots to work on with getting the MLS team up and running first. I think that's the city's 
a highest priority right now and making sure that's a success. Uh, if the uh, major league decides to expand or somebody wants to relocate, I'm sure Nashville will be high on their list. But uh, what I've said repeatedly is that, that we won't have any public money going towards the construction of a stadium. So right a now. new stadium, no matter where it's located in Davidson County, to come here to Nashville is not something that's on your list of additional capital projects that you might want to add for your administration. Uh, there may be some sort of creative uh, state taxation plan they can come up with, like the tax redirect that they use for the for the Titan Stadium that doesn't affect the, the local taxpayers, but there won't be any general obligation money going towards a, a stadium. You looking for this to be a runoff for the situation? Do you, you expect to get more than 50% August 1st? Uh, well, I'm doing everything I can to, to come in first and get more than 50% on August 1st. And uh, in the meantime, all, all I can do is work hard. I, I'm not a good prog prognosticator about what the results will be, but uh, I'm working hard. Mayor Bradley, thank you so much for coming in, and good luck for being out on August 1st. Thanks, Pat. And thank you for joining us on Inside Politics. Hope you'll be back here again for a future show. If you can't get enough politics in the meantime, go to the News Channel 5 website. You'll find my Capital View commentary there. The Zoo commentary posted every Friday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.